Hey, hey, Jefferson Multimedia, it's time for the Halloween theme and learning how to edit your homework video in Adobe Premiere Rush. So the first thing that you will need to do, head to your Schoology page for whichever class you are in. Once you are there, look down a bit and you'll see a post called Edit Your Homework Movie. Guess what I want you to do? Yeah, uh -huh. click on it. Read the instructions and go down to the bottom. Download your rough footage here. Click right there. The video will pop up. Look up in the top right hand corner. See that download button, which is the down arrow. Click it. There are no viruses. You may download with complete and total security. And then look at your progress bar in the bottom left. Once that is done and it's totally downloaded, click on that little arrow off to the side. And I want you to click show in folder because you're on a PC. Drag it to your desktop and let it go. Open up Adobe Premiere Rush. Once you do that, create a new project. Good place to start. Click on that. Then set it to go to your desktop because that's where you put your video, right? If you click on the file itself, the video that you want to import, it turn blue. Then you click on create. It's gonna import all of that video into Rush. And now, just in time for Halloween, our next step is to cut it into pieces. Man, this is fun. Now for the fun part. We only want to include the parts of the shots that have action in them. So in the beginning, we wanna cut out everything except the action itself. I can't talk about this slider at the bottom enough. I'm noticing with your laptops, you're having a hard time using your fingers. Try just using the trackpad. Remember, the more you move this slider to the left, the more thumbnails you get. And pay attention to the audio waveforms at the bottom. You see all these little bumps? That's me saying, stand by, and we're starting in five, four, three. So we want to cut that part off, right? Let's hit play and see if I'm right. All right, stand by. We're starting in five, four. That was right. Three. And I want to start right before... Our actor walks in the door, so I'm going to grab my slider. I'm going to go back just a little bit. S for split, right? To get rid of the junk before the movie starts. What do you do? You click. You hit delete. And let's just get the first shot. Walk in. Let's try it this way. And remember, this is all in one shot, so we can just delete a bunch of stuff, right? Let's split it like right there. And now I just wanna hit my play All button. Right, stand by, we're starting in five. Yeah. Four, three. And I'm gonna start as soon as our actor turns the corner. Remember S is split. Click the part you don't want, delete. The big thing I wanna make sure we do, don't show the same thing happening twice. So we don't wanna see the person walking through the door. And then the person walking through the door again. Don't take us back in time like some weird kind of back to the future Doctor Who smash up thingy. So we want to, where are we gonna have our actor come in? Like as soon as, like I can see that she's like even with the place where the tables come together, right? So if I go to the end and I click and I hold it, it'll go backwards and then here, I want the shot to start like right at the place where the tables come together, right? So I'm gonna grab the beginning. And then let's see if it matches. We want shot one to end where shot two begins. So our actor should be in the same place. Yeah. That looks pretty decent. Now for our next shot, it's shot three where the books go down on the table. So the way I cut that is I do the cut to where the books are almost down. As for split, this shot is going to be really tiny. Let's go to the next shot. I'm just going to grab my playhead, move it forward to right before the books come down. So right now I'm just kind of scrolling through. Trying to find where they go. Camera works a little shaky. Like maybe right, right there. And then if we S for split, click on the stuff you don't want and delete it. Now, does this look like 
walk through the door, and the actor should be at the place where the tables come together. Now let's see if it matches here. Going to put the books down. Walk around the table. Does that look okay? Let me watch it again. So it ends with like the arms a little bit off the table, right? So how did I do with this? Walk around the table. Do I want to make this a little bit longer by making the beginning? Maybe like that? Walk around the table. That's cool! Yeah, let's end it with just like the arm there. Why? I don't know. Split. I'm looking for my next shot. Which is the sitting down part, yeah? Uh, I have a start in five, four, three, and go. So walk after the books down. are put down... Walk around. Yeah. So the books Walk go down. The Pencil is on the desk. If I hit split, delete that junk. Around the table. Put the books down. Okay, I wanna. Do I wanna go sooner than that? Walk around the table. Like, what if I trim it back here? Walk around. So if you look at this shot, where does it end where the actor's right at the corner of the table that's closest to the camera? So here, I want to do the same thing. And it would be the corner right there, wouldn't it? Yeah. So if I trim it, this is cool. You can see both clips together. Pull out the seat. Yeah. Set, and just freeze right there. OK. <laughs> Now remember, don't look at the camera. But still, first time we filmed it, I am happy, happy, happy with this. Freeze right there. And we notice that the book and the pencil is on the desk. Hands are in the lap. Aww.